will be the day of the week on Jan 1st, 2010. That is what we have to find out. Our options are given to be Sunday, Saturday, Friday and Wednesday. What will be the answer? These pattern of questions appear in Government Bank and Wipro exams. Let us see the logic behind this question. You have to calculate the last date of the previous year, that is it is given as Jan 1st of 2006 to be Sunday. So the previous year would be Saturday. Then you have to calculate the number of odd days between 2006 and 2009. Followed by you have to calculate the first day of the year 2010. That gives you your answer. Let us see how to apply this logic to solve the sum. So it is given in the question itself that 1st of January 2006 is nothing but Sunday. So the previous day would have been Saturday. Now we have to calculate the number of odd days from the year 2006 to the year 2009. Since 2006 is an ordinary year, we have just one odd day. 2007 is an ordinary year, hence again one odd day. Whereas 2008 is a leap year, hence two odd days. 2009 is a normal ordinary year, hence one odd day. Summing up, you get 5 odd days in total. So from 2006 to 2009, you have 5 odd days in between. So, a 31st December in 2005 would be Saturday. Then, in 2006, 31st December would be Sunday, since it is an ordinary year. And in 2007, the same date would be Monday. Whereas in 2008, your 31st December would be Wednesday because you have two odd days because 2008 is a leap year. And in 2009, 31st December would be Thursday. So, if 31st December is Thursday, then obviously your first Jan of 2010 would have been Friday. Let us see our next interesting question. How many days are there in X weeks and X days? Our options are 7x square, 8x, 14x and 7. What will be the answer? It is given that we have to find the days in 7 weeks and x days. Sorry, x weeks and x days. X weeks means each week has 7 days. So, X into 7 plus the number of days. That is X. It gives you your answer as 8X days. So, our answer is option B, 8X. Let us move on. To our next interesting question. We have to find the last day of a century and which of these options cannot be the last day of a century. These pattern of questions appear in government, bank, CTS and HCL. So let us see how to solve this. 
The logic that has to be applied in this problem is that you have to calculate the last day of first century and then you have to calculate the last day of second, third and fourth century. Then you have to find how long the cycle will be repeated and calculate the days which are not possible to be the last day of a century. So let us see how to apply this logic in our problem to obtain the solution. We have our first century that is 100 years will have 5 odd days as we have seen. So the last day of your first century would be the fifth day that is Friday. Our next century is 200. So, for 200 years, you will have 5 into 2, that is 10 or days. Since they can be grouped into weeks, grouping 7 days, we have 3 days left to be our odd days. So, the last day of our second century would be the third day, that is Wednesday. Our next century is 300. So for 300 years, we'll have 5 into 3, that is 15 odd days. Grouping them into week, we have just one odd day left. So the last day of your third century would be the first day, that is Monday. Our next century is 400 years. So, that can be found out the number of odd days is nothing but 5 into 4 plus 1 because 5 fours are 20 plus 1 is because 400 is a leap year. It has 2 odd days. So that gives you 23. So that gives you 21. So 21 is perfectly divisible into 3 solid weeks. That leaves you with 0 odd days. Hence, the last day of your 4th century would be Sunday. This cycle is repeated again and again. So the last day of a century, for the 1st century we have the last day to be Friday. And for the 2nd century, we have last day to be Wednesday. And for the 3rd century, we have the last day to be Monday. For the 4th century, we have 0 odd days and hence it is Sunday. And again, the cycle goes on in repetition. The only days which are not the last day of a century is Tuesday, Thursday or Saturday. But among our options, only Tuesday is available. Hence, our answer is option C, Tuesday. Last day of